Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Laravel e-commerce multi-vendor auction plugin. Now this particular plugin enables the sellers and the admin to add auction to their products and it is one of the most effective methods of selling products. The admin has the option to set the auction as automatic, reserve or incremental for the admin or the seller products. While adding an auction to the product, the admin or the sellers can set to have both the buy it now button or the auction option or any one as required. Apart from that, the admin and the sellers can set the starting price of the bid, the reserve price, auction start and end date, time, number of days till the winners can buy, minimum and maximum quantity of the bid, can enable the automatic and the increment option uh, auction uh, for the particular auction product as well. Now, can you know that this particular uh, plugin, that's the Laravel e-commerce multi-vendor auction plugin, is an add-on to the Laravel multi-vendor marketplace. So you'll have to install the uh, Laravel multi-vendor marketplace first before making use of the Laravel e-commerce multi-vendor auction plugin itself. So this particular plugin allows the auction feature for the marketplace sellers and the admin products, incremental automatic and reserve auction option can be set by the admin admin can enable or disable the email notification option to the admin seller and the outbid buyer if the user bid will be outbid then the user will get notification email winners will be notified via email and can view uh, that they have won the bid on the product page and can see the option to purchase the product at the bid price date and time picker for date and time selection for admin and seller edit and delete feature for product auction for admin and seller it supports simple downloadable virtual type products only winner message can be set by the admin customers can check the complete bid details such as bidder name bid amount bid status on the product both the admin and the sellers can view the bid list from their account panel so in today's video tutorial we'll be uh, checking out the admin workflow variant we'll be seeing how to add a new auction how to manage auction how to set the incremental price range and the initial configuration settings for the uh, laravel e-commerce multi-window auction plugin but before i proceed further with this particular video tutorial please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up so right now you can see that I'm at the uh, Laravel e-commerce multi-window marketplace store front end and I'm on one of the uh, products uh, of the admin that's the artifact ports and here you can see that uh, we have enabled the buy it now button as well along with the uh, auction option that you can see here and here you can see that the auction will end in one days one hours 47 minutes and 25 seconds there the current bid amount is zero no one has bid on this particular uh, auction product the minimum quantity that needs to be purchased after we have uh, won the bid is two and the maximum is five the open bid amount is three hundred dollars the next minimum bid amount is three hundred dollars and point one cents so to bid uh, here what you need to do is you need to enter the bid amount here and tap on the bid now because the automatic uh, bidding is also enabled on this uh, auction product so you can also place an automatic bid by selecting this option but before that you need to enter the amount here and select the place automatic bid and bid now so uh, for example if you want to bid on this uh, particular product and uh, let me show you that Let's bid it for $301 and I'll tap here on the bid now button thereafter as a customer. So I've been actually logged out of the uh, customer account there. So I'll have to log into the customer account once again. So let me go ahead and let me enter the details here. And let me tap here on the sign in button. Uh, let me search the particular product so here as well we can see the open bid is $300 and it ends in one days one hours 45 minutes and 56 seconds there let's view the particular product let's enter the bid amount here let's go with $301 and let's tap here on the bid now button 
So this is uh, the customer workflow that I'm just showing you to give you an overview how it how the auction product appears at the storefront. The bid has been successfully edited, and you can see now the current bid shows uh, from zero. It shows three hundred one dollars. One bid is there, and uh, if I scroll down, here we have the bid details. The current amount is three zero one dollars. The start time and the stop time of the bid, the minimum quantity, the maximum quantity that can be purchased. After you have won the bid, the number of days uh, within which you can purchase the particular product on the bid uh, amount that you had bid. And here we have the bid rules as well. Now the bid rules can be set by the admin from the backend panel that I'll be showing you in a while from now. So here we have the incremental auction and about the automatic auction as well. So here under the normal bid list, you can see that John Doe has bid the amount for $301. The time span uh, stamp is this. And under the automatic bid list, we don't have any automatic bid list there. To set an automatic bid, I'll enter the amount, select the place automatic bid, and I'll tap here on the bid now button thereafter. So after tapping on the bid now, uh, the automatic bid would be set up. So you can see that the bid has been edited successfully. Now there are two bids and uh, if I go to the automatic one, here you can see that the John Doe has done an automatic bid for $320 there and the timestamp is also visible there. Alright, so if you tap here on the two bids, you will be redirected to this uh, particular section in the bid details just below the uh, product details page there where we have the automatic bid list as well. So now this was uh, the uh, customer's flow. So uh, also can you know that uh, this buy it now button can be disabled while you're adding the auction to the product as for your requirements. So you can basically while adding an auction to the product, the admin or the sellers can set to have both the buy now button or the auction option or any one of them as required there. Now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you the initial configuration settings, how to add a new auction, how to manage the auction, uh, the incremental, how to set the incremental price range and much more. So I've already logged into the Bagisto backend there by entering the email and the password. So to make the initial configuration settings, what we need to do is we need to navigate uh, to the configure section. Here we have the marketplace auction. And here we are having four different uh, configuration settings. One is the general, automatic auction, reserve auction, email notification. Now under the general, you'll be able to enable the status for the uh, auction and this will enable the auction uh, feature within your store. Then you can show the current bid on the uh, product page. You can show the bid, uh, bidder name on the product page or you can disable it up as well. You can uh, disable the show current bid as well. Uh, you can show the bid price, uh, you can show the auction details, here you can set up the winner message that would be displayed to the, uh, to the customer on the uh, uh, product page. So here you can see as an example, after the customer has won the uh, particular auction, here you can see that uh, the message is being displayed, congratulations you have won this uh, uh, bid and uh, at the buy it now button uh, section you can see buy with $13.02 because the bid amount was $13.02 by the customer the customer won it on $13.02 so the customer can now buy it with $13.02 also here you can see that uh, it depends upon the time uh, period uh, that has been set while adding the auction uh, the uh, what we say as the time allowed to buy the product or the auction product after the customer has won the auction there so the time remaining to buy is being displayed as 9 days 23 hours and 23 uh, seconds itself there right so here we are having the auction rule the same uh, rule is uh, basically being displayed here on the uh, product page or the auction page there. So this was the general configuration. Then we have the automatic auction. So here you can enable the automatic auction. You can uh, enable or disable the automatic auction. You can enable or disable whether the customer can change the automatic bid price multiple times. You can enable or disable to use the incremental price. You can enable or disable show automatic bidder name on the product page show bid price, show automatic bidder details on the product page itself. 
so this was about automatic auction then we have the reserve auction here you can enable the reserve auction uh, price or you can disable it up so whenever you are adding an auction you will be able to set up the reserve auction price on the uh, auction that you are going to create then we have the email notifications here you will be able to set the email notifications that would be sent out to the admin seller outbid buyer winner and the email to the bidder on submission of the bid itself so as per your requirement you need to configure these options and then tap on the save button so this was the initial configuration now because this is an add-on to the multi-window marketplace uh, or the laravel uh, multi-window marketplace so uh, to uh, create the auction you'll have to go to the side panel and go to the marketplace uh, icon here so i'll tap on that and under the marketplace here you will find two different options one is the manage auction and one is the increment price range now under the manage auction uh, you will be able to see all of the auction products of the marketplace sellers as well as of the admin here as you can see so the shirt photo is of a seller the artifact pots is of uh, one of the uh, of the admin himself now one more thing is that uh, this was the uh, product page uh, let me uh, duplicate this product and just give me a second for that uh, and let me go to the profile section now the customers uh, basically would be able to find two options under their own account panel that is the bidding details and the auto bidding details under the bidding details they'll be able to see their normal bidding details uh, that have, they have uh, done and um, they'll find the here you can see the end product artifact pots $301 processing the winning status is pending and under the auto winning they'll be able to see the automatic bids that they have applied so here we are having the automatic bid on the artifacts as well for the $320 the bidding status is processing and the winning status is pending now let me take you back to the admin backend panel so under the manage auction we'll see all of the auction products of the marketplace vendors as well as of the admin there and from here the admin would be able to add a new auction by tapping on the add new auction button on the top right hand corner apart from that here you can see the bidding details by tapping on the bidding option so here you can see uh, the bidding details like John Doe has uh, done a bidding amount of $301 and 0.1 cents uh, Peter Doe for $310 uh, then we can go to the automatic bidding and here we can see the automatic bidding done by John Doe for $320 as we had done is winner is no status is pending right now now let's come back to the auction section here now let's see how the admin would be able to add a new auction there to add a new auction he needs to tap here on the add new auction button and he'll find the complete list of products that he has uh, under his own account panel there uh, or his own products basically and here uh, to add an auction he needs to tap on the auction button so for the tail lamp mercedes uh, i can tap here on the auction button and that would uh, bring up the end auction option for this particular product so here we have the auction options so you can uh, enable the buy it now button along with the auction option or just the auction uh, for the product as per your own requirement you can set the starting price of the uh, auction you can set the reserve price of the auction you can choose the date and the time uh, for the auction start and the auction end uh, you can set the number of days till the winners can buy you can set the minimum quantity that needs to be purchased and the maximum quantity that can be purchased of the auction product then you can uh, enable or disable the automatic option on the product page if enabled then uh, the place automatic bid option would be available here on the product page and then you can also uh, set the increment option as enable or disable as per your own requirement there and then what you need to do is you just need to tap here on the save button so uh, for example if i go with the auction the starting price is 300 uh, the dates uh, are let me choose the dates from 4th till 30th of this month enable disable and let's tap here on the save button so you can see that the auction has been added and under the auction list the tail lamp mercedes has been set up with the starting price reserve price 
uh, the start of the auction from and n2 values the status whether sold or not and you also have the option to edit any auction now can you note that if uh, within 10 the start from and the end to uh, time limits and the date limits if the auction is working there only then you will be able to edit the auction otherwise if the uh, end to date has uh, passed then you will not be able to edit the auctions there to edit an auction you just need to tap here on the edit option and the particular auction would uh, uh, edit auction on product would uh, open and here you can uh, edit any of the details like the starting price reserve price date number of days minimum quantity maximum quantity etc now let's go back now we have added the uh, auction to the tail lamp mercedes there so if i open this product up in the front end you can see that uh, one day one hour 34 minutes uh, and 33 seconds are there and you can see because we did not set the buy it now button we had set only the auction one so that's why only the auction option is available for this particular product and here we are having the DTB details as you can see right now no one has a bid on it so the current bid amount is zero as being shown the opening bid amount is 300 and the next minimum bid is 300 dollars and 0.1 cents there right let's come back then we have the incremental price range section and here you will be able to set up the incremental price range so from here you can add the option like price from uh, 1 to 100 dollars the increment should be 10 dollars and you can tap here on the save button after that to save the incremental price range similarly you can add up uh, more from 200 to 500 the increment should be $20 and tap on the save button and so on and so forth you can set up the incremental price range that would affect the auction there itself so these were the two options that is the manage auction under the manage auction we have the complete list of auctions of the marketplace admin as well as the sellers uh, then we have the bidding details here then we have the automatic bidding details for the admin to view under the auction we have the add new auction option for adding the auction to the admin products by tapping here you'll find the option to add the auction to the uh, admins products there and then we have the incremental price range to set the incremental price range there all right so yes that was much about the laravel e-commerce multi-minute auction plugin and uh, in this video i just showed you the uh, a bit of workflow at the customer's end and uh, the workflow at the admins end of how the admin would be able to add a new auction manage the auction set up the incremental price range and the initial configuration settings as well if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements regarding this particular plugin then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.ubs.com as well Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.